As we approach next month's 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination, I'm hosting a special documentary tomorrow night that looks at the civil rights movement through the lens of how television news captured it at the time and how Dr. King proved to be far more media savvy than he is often remembered for. We have no moral choice but to continue the struggle, not for ourselves alone, but for all America. King developed a strategy of resistance that was designed to challenge the status quo while never making white America feel threatened. He consciously set about creating a character palatable to all of America. Martin Luther King understood that if you're only telling the story, you know, among the black press and among black people, you're, you're preaching to the choir. You've got to get outside the church. What special instructions or advice have been given the Negro people? Uh, if there is violence, that it must not come from Negro people. King's efforts to woo the media started to pay off. Soon, King was the story, and the story was the movement. More than 12 months now, we, the Negro citizens of Montgomery, have been engaged in a nonviolent protest. The boycotters faced death threats and persecution, but under the leadership of Dr. King, they mounted a successful and peaceful campaign. Facing financial crisis and failing in the courts, the city of Montgomery relented and ordered that black passengers be allowed to sit anywhere. The two-hour premiere of Hope and Fury, MLK, The Movement, and the Media airs tomorrow night at 8, 7 Central here on NBC. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.